Hey, Brooke, how's it going? Hi, Hi. I'm vlogging. <laughs> that sounds good. Thanks so much for being at our Gamesbox photo shoot. Thank you. Would you All mind right, if I ask you a couple of questions while you get ready? Yeah, I don't mind. Sounds good. How do you start your day? Well, I usually make coffee. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I do anything else, get out of bed, go straight to the kitchen, start the coffee pot, and then I usually have to grab a bite of something. Like, I'm not... Depending on how high my training is, I'm either super hungry in the morning or I just I just want something. And lately it's been veggie sticks, which is like super weird for like a morning snack. But I need a snack, I need coffee. Stat. There you go. What's one thing that you have to have in your fridge at all times? Uh lately it's been otters. They're called um I think it's gold golden coast ciders. So hard cider. I've started drinking a lot of <laughs> A lot of cider. <laughs> Very nice. Between that and trifecta. My food and my drink. Very nice. What's your favorite cheat meal? Ooh. Pizza. Like flatbread pizza. How do you spend your downtime? I don't have a lot of downtime, but it's okay because my everything that I'm doing and I'm on the go a lot is very enjoyable. But if I'm not traveling or I'm not working, um, I'm usually outside, in the nature, maybe getting my nails done, or I'm in Utah with my family. Do you have any secret talents? I sing. I grew up singing and dancing until I was in college, so that's probably the only real talent that I have. Oh, and I yet yeah, dance. So. What would you say to all the young girls who look up to you? Um... To not be afraid of being unique because it's boring to be like everyone else. And sometimes it feels like it might be the only thing you want is to fit in, but eventually you'll realize that you don't want to fit in, you want to stand out, even if it's kind of painful sometimes. If you had a superpower, what would it be? I dream about flying a lot. I really have those flying dreams, so I'm currently flying. Do you have any nicknames? Um, yeah, my dad used to call me Boog when I was growing up. That's actually a big secret. <laughs> it was Booger, which I think is probably like almost every kid's nickname. <laughs> and then my friends from Santa Cruz all call me Mamba. That's probably the most recent. And it's been going on for a long time, so the, mom the Mamba. What makes you laugh no matter what? Gina Chancharulo, my best friend. One of my best friends. Don't, some of my friends are like, what? One of my best friends. She can make me laugh uh, constantly. What was your first job? My first job ever. My first job ever? Um, my dad put me on his cleanup crew. My dad's a construction, he owns a big construction company. So when I was young, like well before I could drive, he put me on the cleanup crew and he would drop me off to the job site with my bike and my broom in the back of his truck. And then he would drop me off, I'd sweep, and then I would ride home. That did not last very long because my mom decided she didn't want a young little blonde girl by herself at construction sites. <laughs> but my dad was pretty confident in my, you know, my ability to protect myself. Favorite place you've ever visited? Um, out of the country? We'll say Paris. And how about I was the there country? the longest. In the country, I absolutely love uh, Louisiana. And there's been some other places I'd like to go back to, like Nashville. But when I was there, the weather wasn't super great. So I don't think I really got to see the city. Oh God, there's so many. I love New York, Chicago. But Louisiana, my coaches are there and uh, the people are really great. and. If I lived there, it'd be really easy to get fat there. The food is really good. What's your favorite Netflix show to binge? Mm -hmm. Breaking Bad is great. And I did binge watch Girls. I think that's what that one was called. Last book you read? Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. What's one of the most memorable moments you've had in your career? Um, the 2018 Regionals. Competing at the 2018 Regionals and being 
it was right after I had my neck fused, so I was coming back from an injury, and uh, I was in the I was in the the first heat in every workout, and I had the biggest, loudest crowd. <laughs> so it was very humbling and very uh, emo. It was a very emotional experience. It was very, it was great. What was it like walking into the CrossFit Games for the very first time? Overwhelming. Oh. It was. Um, it, um, so when I competed at the CrossFit Games, it was still in Southern California, and it truly was like walking into, you know, the Coliseum. That's exactly what it was called, but it, it really was. It was, I've never felt that much energy or power anywhere else. However, I haven't competed in Wisconsin, but there is definitely something to be said about the vibe here in SoCal, and um, it's, it felt very, it's royal in a way. You know, you work really hard all year to possibly go there, and I finally went. And between the realization of how crazy I was to want to be in that much pain <laughs> on a stage for people while also being so unbelievably proud of myself for making it that far was, yeah, I nothing can compare to how it makes you feel. What is your favorite lift? Um, I love to snatch. That's probably has been my favorite in the past. Currently, I am still recovering from some shoulder stuff, so now it would be cleans and jerking. Nothing feels better than when, like some people can relate, like I was just jerking the other day for the first time since June, so a very long time. And the sound, like when it, when it, when the bar hits right, and when you push under, when your feet hit right, the way that it sounds, the way that it feels, the way that the bar sounds when it brushes through the pocket, is addicting. Yeah. What's one word you would use to describe yourself? Unapologetic. And finally, what's the best advice you've ever received? Um, Jenny Labaw is a good friend of mine. And back in 2013, she said to me, you need to remember, and it wasn't because I was doing this, she just wanted to give me advice. She said, always remember to be the person on the way up that you would want to be on the way down. And it's, it's the realization that nothing is forever, and you're gonna come in contact with a lot of people, and you want to leave a really good impression and leave your best self with them regardless of you know, how cool you think you are <laughs> or how much fame you have, you know? Absolutely. Awesome, Brooke. Thank you so much for all your, yeah. for all your answers. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We'll let you get to it. Thank you.